Swift in here, fashionably late, but I got a new video for you. Let's pretend I'm not two weeks late. On today's episode of Swift and Reviews, we're going to be reviewing Skateboard Gorilla, made by TransArt. They've made a couple different uh, transmetal characters thus far. They've done uh, Cheetor, they've done Ravage, as, I don't know if he's a transmetal technically, and now they, uh, obviously they've done um, Optimus Primal as well. So on today's episode, I'm going to be diving in. Got a lot of thoughts on this figure. It's exactly what it should be, but should it be exactly what it should be? Let's find out. Okay, looking at the box, uh, you have some really nice art of a skateboard gorilla. Definitely not of Optimus Primal. Totally doesn't look like him at all, but you know, I actually really like their boxes. Um, they all have like a really nice drawing. They're all very consistent looking with each other. Um, you know, it says BWM, which I'm assuming means like Beast Wars Metals. The uh, sides of the box don't really have much going on. And the back of it just has like that same sort of illustration. It looks sort of like the, uh, the Axelon's, um, you know, control panel. Out of the box, you get a couple of accessories. You get uh, sort of like the default stoic face. You get, um, I just had a stroke and I'm really uh, feeling good about it face. You get, this, is a, this one's a little hard to tell, but it's a slightly smirking monkey face. Kind of like the stoic normal plane gorilla face. You get two energy accessories. Um, you get a cloth for cleaning the metal. I actually like this a lot um, because they actually used a really good like metal or something. I don't know, but it, um, you know, it gets fingerprints obviously. So this is really good for taking it off. And obviously you also get the uh, posable stand. So all right, so here is Skateboard Gorilla in his robot mode and all of its weird flat chested uh, glory. I have one of the alternate faces on that's kind of um, just more similar to the face on the original Transmetal Primal. I just like it a little more. I kind of feel like, you know, stroke face uh, looked pretty weird. And then the other one is kind of just too, too calm. Like this one at least looks like he, uh, you know, he's ready for battle. He comes with this little gun um, like he has on the show. This li actually lights up so you can push that down and then stick one of the energy things in there and you can see kind of gets a bit of a glow. It's pretty neat. Um, you know, it's not something they had to do, but I like it, um, you know, rather than Rather than have uh, lights in the eyes or something, um, you know, it was a neat little touch to get them a little, little something else, um, something more interesting. So uh, he has his little gun. He can actually holster it on the side here. It doesn't really stay in there that well, to be honest, but, uh, you know, it's still cool that they had it, but I would rather they just have had a peg on the side. I think it would work better. Um, you could take his like cannons here, sort of like on the show, bring them forward, have him, uh, you know, hold on to it like he was shooting on the show. The only thing I don't like about that is on the show, whenever he would get into this mode, these cannons would sort of open up to make it actually look like they're able to fire something. This figure doesn't do that. Um, you know, maybe it would have been nice if they included like uh, alternate accessories to sort of get you able to get that look, but they didn't. Uh, as you can see, that gun falls out really easily. Again, this is why I just wish they had a peg option. Uh, so for posability, uh, he's not super posable. Um, kind of just limited by everything the old figure was limited. Uh, so you only get the uh, sort of like 90 degree angle here on the elbow. Uh, the joints are really tight, so that's good. Uh, the shoulder, you have a ratchet, kind of kind of get the full range of movement there. Head on a ball joint, but not a whole lot of range here. Can kind of look up and down. No ab crunch, I hate that gun. Uh, the legs, you get a little more bend just because of um, virtue of the transformation here. 
So that's pretty good. Uh, and then you get pretty much a full split here. There's a swivel at the waist. Really wish they could have somehow worked in some sort of ab crunch or some sort of like forward bend on the chest here. Let's say like if there was a joint here, um, kind of just really constricts the mobility on this guy. Normally I don't care too much about it, but uh, for this figure, it's something I wish they had. All right, let's talk about the look a bit here. So for comparison, I have the original Transmetal Optimus Primal. And you know, I gotta say, I actually surprisingly like this one more. Um, even though it's like an old figure from like 1999, 2000, something like that. I, I think it just looks better. Um, you know, it has like this detailing in the chest. The chest is more rounded. Um, you know, I think the face looks a little better as well. And, you know, the fact that the gun pegs into the side, the transformation is very similar. I think it just has a better silhouette. Um, and it even has more detail, honestly, throughout the entire figure. So the issue, of course, with this one is that they made changes to the design on the show. So if you wanted like a masterpiece sort of show accurate version of Transmetal Optimus Primal, this is it. And I can't fault it for that because it is accurate. And, and this is what they had to go on. Um, and they did an amazing job at doing that. But, you know, it's one of those things where part of you wishes that they could have taken a bit of artistic liberty, but we don't really have a nice masterpiece Optimus Primal, so I kind of feel like they didn't really have a choice. And if they're going ahead and making like the, the Cheetor super accurate, if they're making their Optimal Optimus take super accurate, then they had to. Um, and, and that's fine. Like, it's really good for what it is. It's just not a design I'm in love with, and it's not a design I've ever been in love with, but it is, you know, it's, it's great for what it is, and which is a show accurate um, take on the character, so. Okay, and for size comparison, we have the original Transmetal Primal, Transcraft Leopard Commander, aka Transmetal Cheetor, the original Beast Wars Primal, uh, the Trans Art Ravage, Nemesis Prime, and we have the OG Transmetal Megatron. Uh, so as you can see, he is, you know, in scale with the other trans art transformers, um, you know, and he's a good size up from the original figure, so. Here we have Skateboard Gorilla in his beast mode. It, it, it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, it, it's show accurate. It, um, it looks exactly how it should. I don't love the look. You know, again, I think the original Transmetal Primal just kind of had a more cohesive sort of feel to it, honestly. Um, the detailing is, is really nice. Uh, but, you know, as with anything, this is, this is like the masterpiece show accurate version. And for that, they did a really great job. Um, you know, you have the very classic, like, primal face here. It's a little hard to see because of how, um, metallic it is, but, you know, the, the face is very show accurate in both robot mode and beast mode. Uh, my one biggest complaint sort of about this figure is that if you want to stand him up on his two legs here, kind of have him in more of that, you know, standard look from the show, he doesn't really want to stand up too well. Um, he is now, like, if you keep his arms straight down, it's better, but um, this is just kind of, you know, loose, and it doesn't really latch onto anything in here, so it doesn't do an amazing job of keeping him upright. See, like, if you get him too forward at all, he just sort of starts toppling. 
uh, you know, which is not ideal at all. Uh, oh, see, okay, there you go. And if you breathe on him, he'll fall over, but it's, you know, you could use his arms to support him. I kind of like how he looks better that way anyway, and it's something that the old figure couldn't do because it has no uh, flexibility in the head. This can do it totally fine, so. Um, each one of these obviously also had uh, like a hoverboard or a skateboard in this case, the thing that makes it Skateboard Gorilla. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, so here you have him with his like skateboard hoverboard thing. Uh, I mean, it, it, again, <laughs> it looks good. It's it's weird. It's a gorilla on a hoverboard. But what they did here that I really like is that um, you know, and again, I wish they had the peg here, but they do have the peg where you could put the um, you know the gun into his foot here, and it really kind of helps sell the look, especially with the lit up. Um, your energy effect here so yeah i mean it's cool it probably would look better sort of like on the stand but um you know if you want to have a um if you want to have a gorilla on a skateboard for whatever reason uh here you go it exists so yeah okay so just some final thoughts here I wanted to talk kind of about TransArt's approach here in general. Um, I think they do an amazing job really making like show accurate transmetal figures. It's something that's been missing for a long time and I think it's really great that someone's finally doing it. My honest biggest complaint about it is that, you know, they started out with uh, the Cheetor moved on to Primal, they have Ravage, which is basically, you know, b borrowing a lot from Cheetor. But then they're going straight into um, Transmetal Optimal Optimus. And I kind of feel like, you know, we're really overdue for a good Transmetal Megatron, we're really overdue for a good, you know, Tarantulas. I, I mean, like the original figures are great and they still hold up, but, you know, I, I want this sort of masterpiece scale and I'm a bit concerned that you know, they do these three and then they skip straight to, to Optimal Optimus when, you know, other companies have done their attempts at like a Transmetal Megatron, a Transmetal Tarantulas, and I, I kind of think they were pretty awful. Um, I didn't pick any of them up. I don't think they look good. Uh, but these honestly look great. And I love like the, the like the metal they've chosen. Um, the quality of them is great. <laughs> I mean... I have no like gripes with these figures other than, you know, I wish there was a little more posability here worked in in some way. And, um, you know, I just, it's just that in some cases I don't really love the designs, but you know, I can't, I, again, I can't fault the figures for that because they're, they're, they are very show accurate and they've done an amazing job. So, um, yeah, that's just my like general thoughts on the, sort of like trans art, Beast Wars Metals line in general. I really, really hope that they announce a Megatron soon or you know, a Rat Trap would be amazing, especially if they could get his like backpack to flip around like on the show. Um, that's what I really, really want from them because you know we've, we've seen so many repaints of this guy. You know, there's nothing wrong with the original figures, but the Rat Trap really could use some love and um, you know, I just want to see the whole line. I really want them to do all of them, um, including including the ones that never made a show appearance. I think that would be really, really great. So. Okay, so final thoughts on this guy. So, like I said in the, in the intro, he, he's exactly what he's supposed to be. He's very show accurate. He's, you know, he's got the proper accessories. He looks exactly how he should be looking but i don't like it you know i don't really like how the design translated to the show and when you compare 
like Transmetal Optimus to Optimal Optimus and you compare them to uh, like the original Optimus Primal, it's like such a step back in regards to the design. It's just bizarre looking and I, and uh, it also kind of felt lazy. So part of me wishes like they did the perfect effect thing where they, they put their own spin on it, but I understand why they didn't. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad they didn't because, you know, this, this serves as like the accurate, the accurate Transmetal Primal, like the masterpiece Primal, if you will, um, that we did not previously have. And their other figures are also pretty great. Like their Ravage looks just like Ravage. Their um, Cheetor is, is, is awesome. Um, but again, I, you know, I just, I just sort of don't like the look, but that's my opinion. Um, I, I appreciate the figure for exactly what it is, which is a you know, super accurate design. Um, but oh, this is weird looking. And why does one of the faces look like this? 